Hi everyone, I'm Nadia Zareva, a watercolor artist from Kyiv, Ukraine, and today we are going to paint a very whimsical, foggy winter forest. I wanted to paint this illustration during all this winter. It perfectly describes my mood. I'm showing up in this video to attract your attention to several key points, which will help your painting process flow easily. The first key point is to use the correct watercolor paper. This is the paper I have used. It's cold pressed 100% cotton Arsh watercolor paper. It's a French paper, it's very expensive paper. It's not necessary to paint the paper of this brand, but please do paint on a cold pressed paper. Its surface will allow you to paint in lots of layers and the initial layers, they will be safe. The second key point is to let your painting completely dry. How to check if your painting is completely dry? Touch it. If it's not cold, it is dry. And one more interesting thing. Usually these are the brushes I'm using. But for this illustration, this is the brush I've used. It's not a typical watercolor brush, it's a watercolor brush pen. I have chosen this brush because of this tip. You will see in the video how easily it is to paint trees with this brush tip. Just perfect. If you don't have such a watercolor brush pen, just find a brush with a similar tip. But this one is so good. I do hope that you will enjoy your painting process. And if you do, please send me the links to social media photos. I will be very happy to see what you have done. So what we will need today? A wooden tablet, a list of a cold pressed watercolor paper, a clean palette, I use a Schminke paint box lid, a big flat brush to wet the paper with water, a watercolor brush pen to paint the trees and a bigger synthetic brush to lift the paint, clean water, a masking tape, watercolor paints and a spray bottle with clean water to make the paper wet in the areas where we will need that. First, let's wet the paper with water thoroughly as our first layer will be painted in a wet-on-wet -wet technique and it means that all colors will be blended together. Then let's mix our colors. I've used lots of green, dark blue, black and a little bit of light ochre. I'm starting to paint our first layer while the paper is very wet. The colors are blending with each other really beautifully. When you paint on a wet paper, the colors will always look lighter after it's completely dry. These trees look very transparent, but they will add that whimsical, airy, foggy feel to the painting. Now I'm adding green to my color mixture and I offer you to do the same because it always makes an illustration very interesting to look at when you are using different colors. When the first layer is completely dry, we are starting to paint more detailed trees. In the top of the paper I am painting only the top of the trees because I want to create that effect that they are covered with fog. When I paint bigger trees, I leave empty spaces between the branches. Then I add water with the slightest amount of color there. Again, to create that effect that these bigger trees are also covered with the fog. And now you can see how perfect is this brush tip to paint these fir tree branches. I've tried almost all brushes I have and this one turned out to be the best. I guess I will use it much often now. I just forgot that I had it. I painted the top of the tree and then I add clean water. Then I return to that tree and add some color. When the tree is almost ready, I am adding a dark color to add some contrast to the tree. This is the way I painted all the trees here.
I lift the extra paint not to make the trees too dark. The painting is almost finished. It was really relaxing and meditative as I said before. I am really sure that you will enjoy this painting. The most important is to choose the right paper and the right brush. And that's it. The painting is finished. I really hope that you will enjoy the painting as much as I did. And if you did, please do show me your photos in any social media. I will be very happy to know that someone painted along with me. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye!